I hope you're ready. People tend to forget how truly terrifying a fantasy can really be, right? right? So was there anything that you felt that was important to lean towards as far as like the horror aspect of the movie is concerned and really like implement? Well, the best horror movies have this sort of be careful what you wish for kind of undercurrent. I mean, if you really study horror films, I think they all have that. It's like, yeah, I wanna be young, I wanna have fun, I wanna have sex, I wanna do drugs, I wanna go to parties, and then suddenly there's like Michael <laughs> Myers there, right? Like there's, there is that be careful what you wish for kind of thing, this morality that's always being reinforced by truly great horror movies. And so Fantasy Island just naturally lent itself to that kind of storytelling. So, <laughs> bloody disgusting. Look Here at we us. go. I'm a huge horror fan. I gotta ask, how are you with horror films? I love horror movies. You I, do. I do. I do. I'm. I. I especially love kind of the older ones. Um, like I guess you can consider them old, but like The Shining still, like to me, is amazing. Rosemary's Baby, Mia Farrow's is like un, unreal. Um, you know, I remember my brother really used to like it, and then I liked, and he actually made the the Freddy Krueger. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. He made the, um, you know, glove. yeah, because my dad and my brother really liked, you know, making things, yeah. and so he made the iconic glove with like it, uh, my mom didn't make them. <laughs> they weren't like real like razor blade knives, but it looked really cool, and I was like, wow, this oh, is that awesome. Is super cool. Yeah, so we watched a lot of horror movies, especially you know when we were younger. Nice. So in your career, you've obviously done a lot of things, from singing to mysteries to comedy, mm -hmm. and a lot of people say that like horror and comedy go hand in hand. Yeah. What is it about this genre that draws you in? I've just loved the genre ever since I was a little kid. I think that like I have a line in Fantasy Island where it says, "That's why we ride roller coasters and watch horror movies because we want to feel something." And I think that that's it. I think that's why people love to watch them because it makes them feel very present okay. and alive. Yeah. Yes, and I love that feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Fantasy Island. If you were to actually go there today, what would my be fantasy? Your fantasy yeah. Would be? <laughs> um, I have a few. Um, you know. I've been saying some stuff about my dog. I'll give you a, I'll give you a different one. Um, I love Elvis Presley. Like, just like hang out with Elvis Presley That's for a, a day. That's really, really I have so good many one. questions for him. What are you kind of hoping that fans take away from this film? I hope that they're scared, okay. to be honest with you. I'm like, and you know, I was, I was definitely intrigued and I hope that they like the story. I hope fans take away from this film that they had a really good time. I mean, it was, a ch it's, it was a chance for me to do this crazy genre mashup, like reference all these great horror movies. Uh, Saw, I love Purge, the Butterfly <laughs> Effect, like all these different genres, right, of within the horror um, uh, sort of uh, landscape I try to reference within our film. I got to make four different little movies and then have them crash together. So I hope people take away from it. They just had a great time that they, they saw so much more than they expected. What's this place? Welcome to Fantasy Island. Here, anything and everything is possible. The island is twisting our fantasies. This is not what I meant. I think this is someone else's fantasy. This isn't real. You are not real. Fantasy Island, rated PG-13.